Climate change is the biggest issue facing our generation. And global travel, one of the core pieces of the PRS mission statement, has a huge carbon footprint that contributes to climate change. A carbon footprint is the amount of carbon someone or something releases into the atmosphere. The carbon footprint from our global travel program needs to be offset as it is contributing to the destruction of our planet. I'm going to do something about this and I hope you'll join me. I've always believed that we can take action to improve the environment. In elementary school, my class won our school's recycling contest every year, first through sixth grade, and every year I rallied my classmates and got them pumped up and contributing. I also joined a program called SWIP, which stands for Stormwater Pollution Prevention Plan, where we made physical changes to our campus to decrease the amount of runoff entering our storm drains. Travel is also a huge part of my life, and it's one of the reasons I came to PRS. I've been traveling since before I can remember, and I want to continue to travel, but I know that travel is a major contributor to climate change. According to NASA, our planet's average surface temperatures have risen about 1.9 degrees Fahrenheit since 1880, and the amount of carbon in our atmosphere has risen to 413 parts per million, which is double the normal. When measured summer to summer, our ice sheets are losing about 427 gigatons of ice per year, which is the same weight as two and a quarter million blue whales every year. Another NASA stat is that our sea levels rose eight inches last century. Now eight inches may not seem like a lot, but it is for countries like the Maldives, which are an average of only six feet above sea level. There's so much evidence of climate change that I could easily spend the whole time listing facts and data about it. We must act now before it's too late. Climate change is a tsunami bearing down on us and will keep getting bigger if we do nothing about it. It will cause a, a flood of warm, acidic, trash-filled water that will kill us all. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, um, Sorry, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, of all the greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere, transportation alone releases 29% of them. The Blue Sky Model states that on average, a plane releases a little over 53 pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere per mile. According to the International Civil Aviation Organization, 817,780 pounds or 409 tons of carbon would have been released into the atmosphere if we had gone on this year's global travel trips. This is only from the planes. Each traveler would have released almost a ton of carbon on their flight alone. That's a seventh of the average person's carbon footprint per year. How can I continue to travel when traveling destroys the environment? How can you? Why not stop traveling altogether? According to Jonathan Luke Jr., a world traveler, through travel, you learn that it is foolish to put people into categories and that the cartoonish impressions others ascribe to other nationalities are invariably incorrect. Allison Fox, a writer for Travel and Leisure magazine, explains that kids benefit even more from travel she states, travel can expand a kid's world, making them more empathetic towards cultural differences and helping them adapt to changing situations. Travel helps us understand each other and it makes us better people. It will provide a better future, but only if we have one. It is important to continue to travel, so we must offset our carbon footprint. We can do this by donating to environmental organizations. Now, I know some of you are thinking, hold up, I'm not gonna give away any of my money, but believe it or not, donating helps you too. The UC Berkeley Greater Good Science Center found that donating helps your health, it encourages cooperation and social connection, it evokes gratitude, and it makes us feel happier. Donating also encourages others to donate, creating a domino effect of good. You may think that you alone cannot make a difference, that you are only one of almost 8 billion people, but in reality, anything you do can help. You can start the domino effect of good. The global, travel the global travel program's carbon footprint needs to be offset, and now. The, uh, the school should set up a fund that anyone can donate to at any time. 
the money raised will go to different environmental organizations like the Arbor Day Foundation, which plants one tree for every dollar donated, and the Nature Conservancy, which revitalizes habitats. These organizations are able to offset carbon footprints because plants suck carbon out of the air to grow, and these organizations plant plants. I pledge to raise enough money through recycling and other means to donate to the fund and offset my next trip. I encourage you to do this too. You can start helping the environment today with just one small thing. Start using web browser Akosha, which plants trees with the money they make. It's free to use. You should also use tabs for a cause, which displays ads on your web browser and donates the money from the ads to different organizations like Earth Justice and Conservation International. We need to commit to saving our planet if we want a planet at all. Thank you.